1958, Alfred Hitchcock released his masterpiece, Vertigo. The film is regarded as one of his finest psychological thrillers. The story was based on a 1954 novel by Beaulieu and Narcajac called D'Entre les Morts. The film was shot on location in San Francisco and at the Paramount Studios in Hollywood. In 2010, Christopher Nolan released the most critically acclaimed film of his career thus far, Inception. He worked on the film script for 9 to 10 years. The film was first pitched to Warner Brothers in 2001, but the script wasn't bought by the studio until 2009, after Nolan's box office success with The Dark Knight. Inception is a modern day thriller with riveting sci-fi and action elements. Both Vertigo and Inception are films of the thriller genre. Vertigo, a pre-1960s film, was much more conservative than Inception. This was most likely due to the Hayes Code, which was in effect until 1968 and censored the content of films. Inception, on the other hand, contains more violence than Vertigo, with several shooting and fight scenes. When analyzing these two films, it is interesting to see how the political, social, regulatory, and business environments surrounding the creation of these films impacted their style and content. It can also be noticed how these environments have changed over the past decades. In part to these changes, the thriller genre has also evolved into what it is today. The film industry has changed since its origination in the early 1900s. The way studios conduct their business has evolved. Back in the classical Hollywood era, actors were under contract with studios and directors. In the modern day film industry, that is not the case. Due to this dated studio system, conducting business was more difficult and situations such as this would happen often. When Vertigo was in pre-production, Alfred Hitchcock went through various writers until he was finally satisfied with a version of the script written by Samuel A. Taylor. In the final edit, however, the script is credited to two writers, Taylor and Alec Koppel, who had written an earlier draft of the film. Koppel had protested to the Screenwriters Guild, which determined that both writers were entitled to a credit. Studios held great amounts of power, and in the case of Vertigo, Paramount head Barney Balaban was very vocal about the film's edit and ordered Hitchcock to keep the film the way it was. When Christopher Nolan first pitched the film to Warner Brothers in 2001, he realized that he needed more experience making large-scale films. The studio giants still had great faith in Nolan and pinned him as the director of the highly successful Batman film series. He knew that a film like Inception needed a large budget and wanted the studio to trust him with a project that could potentially hurt them financially. The politics of filmmaking have also changed through the history of film. There are more studios and the power has shifted between all parties involved in the industry. The studios still hold great amounts of power, but there has been a recent rise of independent filmmakers that are giving the studios a run for their money. Political issues have also changed over the time period of these two films, which in turn has changed the political scope of movies and the thr thriller genre. Christopher Nolan sought to show the very modern aspect of corporate espionage and inception. Corporate espionage has greatly affected the global economy for many of the world's most powerful nations. Vertigo is a very American film, even though the villain seems to be British, he has a British accent. <laughs> Otherwise, it's a very American film, uh, whereas this is a very international film, both in its plot and its, in its target audience and in its, in its appeal. So uh, that's a, de a definite difference, but it, again, it's much more grounded in the political realities than is Vertigo. The power of social messages in films of the thriller genre has grown as well. Both Vertigo and Inception convey similar traditional ideas as well as ones unique to their respective time periods. In Hitchcock's Vertigo, the theme of obsession is pervasive throughout the film. Although, Hitchcock gives special attention to the representation of gender. Scotty, played by James Stewart, is shown traditionally as the strong patriarch type. Women in the film, such as Madeline and Midge, are shown to be quite independent, taking a more modern context in contemporary society. Hitchcock, however, robs Madeline and Judy of their independence by killing them off to give closure to both of the main male characters, Scotty and the rich shipbuilder Gavin. Jimmy Stewart himself is engaged in adultery, right? I mean, he's in love with a married, what he thinks is, you know, uh, 
not really, right? But he thinks he is, and that's bad enough as far as religions mm -hmm. are concerned. And legal, legally, you know, there's no law against adultery. As far as the production code should have been concerned at that time, that was uh, breaking the rules so that uh, Judy must be punished, and she is. She's killed. In Nolan's inception, less attention is given to this. There is, however, a diverse representation of genders. The film has two main female characters, Ariadne, played by Ellen Page, and Mal, played by Marion Cotillard, who are both shown respectively in both modern and traditional senses. The regulatory environment, the vertigo and inception, had a huge impact on both the content and style of the films. As we discussed earlier, the Motion Picture Production Code, more commonly known as Hayes Code, was a big regulatory issue for Vertigo. This applied to countless films made before 1968. As for Inception, not as many regulatory issues were involved. Warner Brothers did instill budgetary regulation, as there is for most blockbuster movies made with extensive special effects in present day. Besides this barrier, major studios have evolved with the times and consequently are more lenient in the topics and themes of films. When looking back at the history of thriller films, Alfred Hitchcock stands out as one of the most critically acclaimed and successful directors of the genre. He's often recognized as being a pioneer for the structure of thriller films. From the 1940s to the 70s, thrillers were based on people's actual fears. Modern thrillers have evolved to contain many subgenres, such as conspiracy, terrorism, and disaster. Christopher Nolan learned a great deal from Hitchcock and created the amazing film Inception with state-of-the-art technology. Decades after the blockbuster film craze that originated in the 1970s, the filmmakers of Inception benefited with greater creative and financial freedom in producing the film. Although times have changed and the film industry has evolved with it, Alfred Hitchcock and Christopher Nolan both directed unforgettable films. So in the end, true success comes down to the director and their unique vision to create a movie-going experience that reverberates in the minds of past and future generations.